Greetings and welcome to the Hazel Twig YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a composition doll. It's very easy and you can do it using just a few simple tools. Some of them attach to your very body. This is one of them. Another one are Q-tips and um, toothpicks. That's for the finer detail around the eyes. The common household product is this. Now I understand this is probably uh, backwards. So if you can get a mirror and look at this, it is Hazel Twig. No, I'm sorry, Elmer's. <laughs> Easy mistake. Carpenter's wood filler. Not the kind in the tube with the wooden stuff. This. And let me just show you how quickly it works. Now, I've already done one cheek, uh, but here's the before on this side. You take a soft cloth. I have torn a rag. If your wood filler gets dried out, you can spritz it like that with the um, water. <laughs> and then you go, okay, I gotta remember, look at that dot. You go like, um, okay, here we go, like this. Now, I hope you can see the difference in just that thing. Let me try and, hmm. If I turn it this way and that, oh, she's sleeping. That's okay. That's good. This, this gets really tiring for them, and it kind of feels good. They like it. In the future, I am going to show you how to do everything I do. How to make coats, dresses, hats, all without patterns. Sometimes I'll do some unconventional dolls and show you how I make little gadgets for them. And everything. Now when you get to the eyebrows and eyelashes, here's what I like to do. For between the eyelashes, you don't want to um, actually clean over those. I, I take a toothpick and I go in between like this. It's just a little tedious. And sometimes I uh, rough up the edge a little bit on, between my, on my teeth and that gives you a stiff little easy to control brush. So, here she is. You can see where I've cleaned just her cheeks. You can see where I haven't cleaned. This is a handy tip anyone could do if you're doing larger places like her legs. And I cleaned a spot on a demonstration for Facebook earlier. Uh, I just use a, a damper rag and that combined with with this makes it easier to uh to cover larger areas um once you're done with the racks just throw them away they won't be any good to anyone thank you so much uh this is ruth agel for hazel twig you're my favorite <laughs>